Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Our topic for today is anti-logarithm. In our previous discussion, supposedly we have log of y is equal to x. But this time, if log x is equal to y, then x is called anti-logarithm of y. In symbols, x is equal to antilog y. So to better understand the application of anti-logarithm, let's have the following examples. Find the value of x. Log x is equal to 4.2. So we're going to use the calculator to solve for the value of x. So there are two ways to solve the following problems. We have the exponential form or we're just going to press our calculator. So in our exponential form, this is equal to x is equal to, we know that the base of our number one is 10, then that is raised to 4.2. So we're going to get 10, raised to 4.2 this will be our answer 15,848 15,848 the other way is we're just going to press inverse of log or Press shift, then log, then 4.2. It's also the same. 15,848.93. So, shift, press shift, log, 4.2. Or, anti-logarithm of 4.2 that is also give us 15,848.2 okay very simple you just need to use your calculator now kindly try number 2 3 and 4 we're going to solve for x so we have this is x is equal to 10 raised to 3.75. So just press in our calculator. 10. So the symbol for raise is the this symbol. Okay. The smiley. Then our exponent is 3.75. So that is 5653. 5623.41 or just use shift shift log then 3.75 still the same 5623.41 okay next number 3 so this is x is equal to 10 raised to 10.275. So 10 raised to 10.275. Okay, so we have 1 point times 10. So we're going to move 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Not enough. And number four, x. You know, let's try using the antilog. Shift log 10.275. Okay. Times 10 raised to 10. Okay, number five. 10 raised to 7.58. So our x is 10 raised to. 7.58 okay, 38,000 
zero one you can verify using your own calculator to enjoy solving the anti-logarithm. So this is this is this ends our video, the anti-logarithm. Thank you for watching, Senior Pablo TV. Next lesson will be the natural logarithm. Stay tuned. Natural logari logarithms is the function defined by f of x is equal to log x base e and that is equal to ln x where x is greater than zero. It's called the natural logarithm. So in this lesson, it will go to introduce you the ln x and of course the e symbol. So this is the introduction to your calculus lesson. Now we have the common logarithm versus natural logarithm. In common logarithm, log x means log x base 10. So understood that we have a base 10. While in natural logarithm, ln x means log x base e. So we have a base e. So the difference in natural logarithm, we have base e, while in common logarithms, we have base 10. And we have the properties of logarithms. This applies to natural logarithms and common logarithms. Uh, they are the same or equal. So number one, log one is equal to zero. Because 10 raised to 0 is equal to 1. We know that we have a base of 10 here. So our exponent is 0. Any number raised to 0 except for 0, that is equal to 1. Second is log 10 is equal to 1. Since we have 10 raised to 1 is equal to 1. In our common logarithm. Okay? That's why we have 10 here. That's why we have 10 raised to 1. That is equal to 1. Next. Log 10 raised to x is equal to x. Number four, this is just the same as our laws of logarithm, log x. Uh, if log x is equal to log y, then the x and y are equal. Number five, five, six, seven are our laws of logarithm. Log x, y, so we have log x plus log y. If we have a multiplication, then addition. Log x over y is equal to log x minus log y. And log x raised to n is equal to the exponent n log x. If you want to understand 5, 6, 7, go to our, or just click the curve, then it will, it will direct you in the laws of logarithm. So these are the properties of logarithms that applies in both common and natural logarithms. So that's the natural logarithm. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, Senior Pablo.